Sip water, guys, in every room. You need some water, sip. So we're doing one more set of this. And after this, we have two more exercises left, right? Yeah. Oof. We'll cock it to start right there. Yeah. Ready, guys? Last set. And go. And relax. Ooh. Relax, guys. So we have two more exercises to go. Sadly, we are a little short on time. So we will do the ab circuit or everything to do revolving around the abs maybe in the next session. So we just completed our fourth exercise. We have the fifth and sixth one remaining. So while you're resting, I'll just show you what our next exercise is. Now, for the next exercise, you want to pick your markers up and keep them in one line, right? Now your drill is to stand on one side, jump over it, double leg jump, something like this. But it's continuous. So you want to make sure that you decide how far you want to jump. Uh, if you're not comfortable with it, jump close to the markers, right? If you're comfortable with it, try jumping higher and further away, okay? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so, ready guys? Uh, just a second, let me check. I think we're having some uh, network issues. Back. Back to normal. Okay. So, ready in. Manu will give the count. So, 30 seconds, right? Yeah. And go. Relax, guys. Deep breath. Can you try and get your back to normal? Another way to get it is deep breath. Yeah. Go on your toes. Yeah. Cool. We go for the second set. Yeah. Ready, guys? And go. You guys enjoying the workout? Nice. Last set, guys. Second last exercise. Last 10 minutes, last 10 minutes we have. One more exercise remaining, so. 
Ready? And go. No giving up. No giving up, guys. So, while you guys are resting, we'll just quickly demonstrate our last exercise. Now, Instead of keeping your shoes in one line, you keep them slightly closer to each other. You shouldn't be able to even keep maybe just one foot in. You can't keep both your feet in. That's how much your shoes should be right beside each other. Now, you're going to start with just a second, guys. I keep getting this message. I hope I'm still alive. Guys, the network might be a little bit. Up and down, so just so if, if you're still live, uh, just yeah, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, so you start last exercise, guys. So you start on one side of it, you are going into high knees, then you're going in forward jump and backward jump. So both of us will do it together. It's high knees, forward, continuous, and guys. We'll make it normally time based because people are you slow. Six reps, yeah. Six reps, simple one. So one full rep is actually one full rep. This is one rep. Six times, okay? Six set, uh, six reps. That's one set. Last three sets, guys. Go, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. So we're doing two more sets. Last two sets, guys. After this, we'll quickly move into Stretching. a short cool down where we will be doing cool down stretches. Whew. Ready? Ready, guys? My go. Go. One. It's a quick one, but it's good. So it's, it's a tiring one, but if you want, you can do 10 reps depending on you. We don't have time, so that's why we're keeping it short. <sighs> Hope you guys are hanging in there. Hope you all did the entire session with us. We just have one last set remaining. So let's go guys, last set. If you'll need a longer break, feel free to take that long break and then do the third set. Ready guys? Last six reps, come on. Ready, start. Three, come on. Four. Five. And relax. No six. We'll go to some basic cool down stretches. Simple one. You can just sit down for it. I might follow you. That's okay. Just shake it off a little bit. Relax. Loosen your muscles. Right leg on top. Up. Yeah. Oh. Change. All the way up. Slowly go down. Hold your toes. Up. 
No toes. Once more, all the way down. Up. Ready up. Pull it to your chest as much as you can. Slowly release. Don't keep this leg down. Pull it. You should feel this core stretch. Relax. Change. Change. Right leg ahead. Push your knee down. Don't bend the right leg. And bend the left leg. You should feel your hamstring and your calf muscles. Change. Change. Always right. Change. Last one, all the way down. And relax. So that was it for our session today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks guys for coming online and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time, probably Maybe when next week. we must get something for yeah. us, we'll do it. And uh, maybe next time we'll try adding that core segment in. So thank you guys for joining in and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ciao. I see you. It's in the side, so. Hope all of you are hanging in there because we still have five more drills to go. So. I'll just quickly show you the next drill. Now, it's on the same lines of what we just did. The only difference is we are actually testing your stability a little more with this one. So, we again do the side shuffle, side high knees, and then you want to pause. Now, you want to make sure that this side high knee is really quick. So, I'll just do it a little bit quicker this time. So, it's... it's Quick, quick foot with a little bit of stability, which is very, very important. You have to get stable. You go with slight pause, like a half a second pause is needed, slightly. That's and it. for that pause, uh, you, you will actually come to know when you do the drill is that you will need a slight bend in your knees. Because the more closer you are to the floor, the more you can control your center of gravity, right? So if you're just planning to just stand like that then there's a lot of pressure on your knees as well so make sure you go in a slight bend every time you're pausing okay yeah, but three again, sets of this would be very very quick so ready guys and go Last five seconds, and relax. Oof. You should feel the pressure building in your uh, thighs. Yeah, you feel the thighs, you feel a little bit of the calves, but it's normal, it's nothing to worry about. Oof. Don't forget to sip a little water. You can't go without water doing such a high intensity session when it's so hot outside. Even though we're indoors, the heat is probably getting to us. So uh, don't just skip having water thinking that, oh, I get a catch or a stitch or whatever. Just keep sipping slowly, slowly, and you won't get that stitch. So Ready, just make sure you're hydrated. We'll go to the second set and go.
Last five seconds. And relax. We're doing one more set and then we'll take a bigger break. So, try breathing in, get your breath back. Yeah, and make sure if you're sweating as much as, just like Manuel is, make sure that you're wiping your surface dry. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, there's a chance that you might slip. Yeah, you don't want to slip, it's a little slippy. That's why I'm wiping the surface so. Are you guys? Third set? And go. Last five seconds. I'll give you two minutes break and then we go for the third exercise. This will help you a lot if you're playing any sport, you name it football, basketball, kabaddi, volleyball, anything. Lateral movement is going to help you definitely 100%. And also ankle stability. If your ankles are not stable, your like even in kabaddi, a very common injury is of that that of ankles. Ankle. So, so stability again. That's why you see them wearing ankle shoes to give them good support. So if you can strengthen your ankles, yeah, why not? So again, I'll show you the movement once again. Side, side, hop, side, side, hop, side, side, hop. Cool. So, Manuel will keep the time for us and he will give us the On 15 seconds, we will switch sides. We're starting out from here. After 15 seconds, we'll start from that side. Cool. Ready? And go. Switch. Ready? Let's go. Relax. <laughs> nice, hey guys. Relax, relax. Relax, guys. Are you guys liking the workout? Did you like it? Give us a thumbs up, please. And that's only where we can talk to you guys. We're taking a 30 second breather. Oh, that's good. People are there replying. Nice. Thanks, man. And then we you move my body. Thank you. Yeah. Super. Nice. Thanks. You can start from whichever side you want. So, 
as I calculated, we do five reps on each side. So that's about 15 seconds. So we'll do five reps, starting from the side, five reps from the side. It becomes easy to count and easy to manipulate, I mean to manage as well. So five reps, you ready? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, change. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Relax. Ah. Oof, oof. Anybody else have a love-hate relationship with anything to do with high-intensity workouts? That'll be me. Oof. One more set, right? One more set left, guys. This time, try going a little faster than normal, but only if you are able to maintain the quality of the rep. Ready, guys? And go. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, change. Ready? Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, and change. Relax. Three sets done. Get a breath back. Sip some water. Take deep breath. So we show you the fourth exercise, fourth right? Yeah. yeah, the fourth one. Again, it's a very simple one. Again, today our workouts all about quick foot and agility. How to increase, uh, increase your speed? I mean, just technically this will help you gain. I mean, get better with speed because quicker your foot, better for you. Especially in comedy, you need quick feet. So our next exercise is skater touches. Now you will need a little more space than the box space that we were using. Maybe double the amount, depending yeah. on how uh, long your lateral jump is. So, mine is this much. I like to work with this range today. So, you can just place the markers accordingly. Now, and with markers, I meant your shoes or slippers. If you have markers, go ahead and use them. Yeah, whatever you are using. Okay. So, you start at one end, then you want it to hop to the other side, the other end. So. This is a continuous hop variation. So we just did the knee up, knee up, hop. Now we're minusing the knee ups and we're going directly into hops. Now, this is a little harder on the ankles in terms of stability. Now, of course, because there's no break. So you want to make sure that you have that low frame center of gravity while you bend down to touch. Otherwise, if you think you can do this while maintaining a straight frame, you're likely going to lose balance, right? That would be much. Uh, that's like a given that you lose balance. So make sure that you're maintaining a low uh, center of gravity and then you're doing the lateral jumps. Yeah. So guys, this is, again, this is one exercise where it will help you improve an explosiveness. It involves a lot of thigh, ankle as you said. Uh, I mean, it will improve a lot of firepower. You need, you need good thighs for this and this will help you get better, of course. But if you can't do them, do them slowly, but don't go, in, don't go for speed. If you can't do it fast, you, you don't have to keep up with us. Yeah. You can do it at your own pace. Now, just like Manny mentioned about explosiveness, right? Now, what is explosiveness? You're standing at one point and the next point you're up and you're taking off either in a running position, either in a hopping position. That is explosiveness. Again, like we mentioned before, uh, this workout is based uh, a lot on how the game of Kabaddi is, but uh, I think explosiveness is a needed in a lot of sports like basketball, even in football for that matter. Any sport, right? most of the sports, any physical sport or something, anything, football, hockey, you require explosiveness. For basic, I mean for basic, we can show you like, if you want to jump high, you have to push, you you need explosiveness from your calves and your thighs, only then you can go high. Cool. We'll do 30 seconds of this as well. Ready guys? And go.
Keep going. And that's a relax guys. Keep talking for 15 seconds on. Come, come. Here's my hand. Okay, also you're starting in the opposite direction of me. Like you just said. You Mumbai's is my best team. Thank you, Astu. Now, uh, now that we're done with one set of this, now if you feel a little more confident and you think you want to keep your shoes slightly more away from each other or your markers or whatever you're using, go ahead and increase the sort of difficulty level with the second set. Ready guys? And go. And relax. Whew. Stretch up, breathe in, slowly breathe out and down. Move right, move left. And up. Stretch up again. Breathe in. Slowly breathe out and down. Move right. Move left. Slowly walk your hands out into a plank position. Now step with your left foot in between your palms. Slowly come up. Now those who are uncomfortable in this position, drop your back knee to the floor. Those who can hold this, keep holding. Switch. Come up on one foot. Drive your knee towards your chest. Back. Open up in a T, slowly back down to the floor and switch, step with your right foot in, slowly up, come on one foot, drive the other knee into your chest, back, slowly move out in a T and down. Come back in the plank position, slowly walk your hands behind and up. Now, we'll go into some dynamic stretches before we go into a couple of small circuit drills. So for the dynamic stretches, you're on one foot, you're doing hip rotations outside and then can reverse. So if you're not comfortable with doing it without support, uh, it's okay if you grab a wall or chair, whatever you find com comfortable. So get in positions, we start in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and change. Ready in three, two, one. Opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down. Now we're going to move on to the side kicks. Now what you want to do is swing your leg in and open it on one side. So again, if you need support, if you have a partner you're working out with, you can use a partner support. If you have a chair, wall, use whatever you want. So we're doing both the sides. So ready in three, two, 
one, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. Ready in three, two, one, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down. And switch. Now we're going to move into front kicks. So swing your leg in front and back. We're doing 10 on each side. Get in positions. Ready in 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Other leg. Ready in 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So if you want to have a sip of water, now is a good time to go grab some. Uh, we're going to move on to the small circuit warm-up drills that I was talking about. So while you'll have a sip break, I'll just go on and I'll show you the two exercises we'll be doing for warm-up. So very common exercises, very basic exercises. I'm sure you must have done it at some point in your life. First one is the jumping jacks and second one is the high knees, right? So we'll be doing both of these for 30 seconds without a break in between and then we're doing two sets. So after the first set, we get a one minute uh, break. breather and then we're doing another set. So jumping jacks for 30 seconds, high knees for 30. Okay, so I'll give you all another 30 seconds to get back uh, into your positions. If you're still having water, now is a good time to come back. And then we'll start together. <coughs> what was the question? Okay, let's go. <coughs> okay, so in positions, we start in five, four, three, two, one and go. Keep going. You are seeing French, okay? Mm -hmm. Change. Switch into high knees. This is just warm up guys. After this, we have six agility drills lined up and after which we'll see if we have enough time remaining, we'll do a little bit of core. We'll work the abs out a little bit. I mean, these agility drills, like this is of course the Kabaddi page. This will help you a lot. Like all Kabaddi players out there who follow me, Mumba, the young guys, this quick drills will help you get quicker, move faster, will keep you on your toes. So that way you are your home on the terrace, small compound, you can do that anywhere. So we we'll start with the second set. Yeah. Get in positions, ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. Change. Switch. Now 
No giving up, keep going. Almost there, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Five. And down. Oh. Relax. So, we'll give you a two minutes break now. Um, Y'all can go grab a sip of water, but don't drink too much. Otherwise, you're likely to have a pull or like a catch feeling uh, right uh, below your ribs. So, don't gulp water down. Just have a sip or two and come back and join us. And then we'll quickly move on and we'll show you all the exercises we're doing. Yeah. Also, for those who are doing these drills with their shoes on, make sure you're gra grabbing a pair of slippers or maybe another pair of shoes, anything. We're gonna use them as markers, just like we mentioned before. So, we are discussing the first drill now. It's very simple. It's just like high knees, but instead of doing it on, on the spot, we're doing it side to side. So, you wanna place your shoes in a position where you have three sections made. They should be two feet apart. The shoes yeah. should be two feet apart. You should be able to step in between with okay. both your feet comfortably, right? Now that you have your shoes placed, you start on one side of it. Both of us will show you the drill. We are doing this drill for 30 seconds. You have to do high knees yeah. in all the sections. So all three sections. It is high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. It's a high knee shuffle. You, can, you, have, you have to do it quick as possible. Keep moving quick as possible, it's a high knee shuffle. So you need to make sure that both your feet are landing in each section, in each segment, every single time. And we do this for 30 seconds, so there's no pause. You're continuously moving side to side, okay? Yeah. And you move your hands. The quicker you move your hands, the faster you move your feet as well. So move your hands as well. So after this 30 second drill, we'll, we'll, give, you, yeah, we'll give you a 30 second break, and then we're doing three sets and all. So after that, we give you like a minute break where we explain the next exercise and y'all can have a sip of water maybe. Oh yes. Ready? And go. Quick guys, go quick, go quick on it, go quick on it. No giving up. And relax. Oof. Guys, you're doing 20 seconds as well, but go quick, fast as possible. Don't, don't try and slow down. There's always quality over quantity. Now, another thing, like Manuel mentioned, quality, right? So, another thing to ensure that you're moving extremely fast during the drill is also your arm swing, the way you swing your hands. You want to swing your hands. You want to make sure that you're using your hands and you're not just keeping it dead like that. So then you're only focusing on your legs and you're forgetting that it's also a mechanism. The faster your hands move, the faster your feet move. So if you're nullifying your arm swing, then uh, it's just a disadvantage for you. So just make sure that your arms are moving as fast as your legs. Yeah, don't keep your upper body stiff. Because you're, you're going to be agile from the low body and the upper body as well. Don't, don't be like that. Because you can't run like that. You have to move your hands. Ready? We go for the second set. And go. Last five seconds. Keep sipping water guys, whenever you can sip water, sip water. Guys, one more set left. Another 15 seconds of a break left.
So this workout is a little bit on the high intensity side. You may feel tired, uh, but it's okay, it's good. Because the more you actually, uh, not exactly force yourself out of the comfort zone, but in a way, yes, the more uh, you push yourself uh, to gasp, you know, the more stronger your cardiovascular system will be. So it's good to actually uh, do some sort of aerobic endurance or some sort of uh, cardio based sessions also. You just don't want to do uh, body weight training all the time, which is very important, yes, but you want to slot in at least one day of cardio into your routine because you also want your cardiovascular system to be strong. Second set, guys, and go. Third set, sorry. And go. Make sure you move in your arms as well. Last 10 seconds. And relax. You can have a break. Yeah, I'll give two minutes break and I'm going to show you the second exercise. All the exercises are very simple, so it's only on the high intensity side, so 